Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create a slider in any WordPress website using the free plugin. Let me show you some examples of the slider that I have created. This is a full width slider. You will see the background image there. We have the icon, then title. We also have the content and we have a read more button. Now, if I move the cursor on it, it is going to pause. Otherwise, it will keep on sliding automatically. You will see now the cursor is not on the slider and it is moving. So you can add number of slides. Here you will see the controls. So this is one of the example. This one is the same example, but it's not full width. You can also add overlay on the background image. And in this example, we have gradient colors. So you can use the gradient colors as the background. And this one is a simple slider with single background color. You can change the color. These sliders are fully customizable. You can change the background color. You can change the content color or the button color. You can also add the images in the background. You can create full width slider just like this. If you want to add the banner on the home page of the website, the free plugin that I'm going to use is the Spectra Page Builder plugin. It works with any theme. If you do not have any page builder installed on a website, then you can definitely try the Spectra Page Builder plugin. I have created many videos on different blocks of Spectra Page Builder plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch those videos. These are the blocks that you can add to the default WordPress website using the free Spectra page builder plugin. So let's see how we can add the slider on any WordPress website using the Spectra plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now we are going to add the slider in any WordPress website. To add the slider, I'm going to use the free Spectra Page Builder plugin. In one of the previous videos, I've shown you how to install and use the Spectra Page Builder plugin. Now let's go to one of the pages. I have one demo page here. Let's edit the page. Now we are going to add the slider. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to create the content timeline in any WordPress website using the Spectra Page Builder plugin. And this is how it looks. This is a content timeline. If you want to create a content timeline, I'll give you the link in the description box to this video. So as of now, I'm going to delete this one and we are going to add the slider. So here you can click on the plus sign and search for slider. And you will see the option here or you can go to plus sign here and you will see all the spectra blocks that you can use under spectra block you will see the slider if you do not see it you can enter slider in the search box here you will see the slider i'm going to click on it and this is the default layout of the slider let's close this one this is how to look now we are going to customize this one the default slider has three slides you will see slide one slide two slide three so these are the three slides this is the background now if you click on it you will see the settings for the slider in the right hand side let's go to slider and these are the basic settings autoplay it will start playing automatically and this is the duration for the autoplay however if you move the cursor on the slider it is going to pause so these are the option pause on hover or on interaction or none so I'm going to keep it on hover. Infinite loop, it is going to slide in loop infinite. So it will keep on sliding. Minimum height, this is the minimum height. Let's change it to 450 and you will see the increase in the height of this entire slider. So this is the entire block. This is the inside block. This is the slider child. The one, the child, this is the child number one and this is the child number two. From here you can also change the background for this so you will see the slider here now next one is navigation you will see the arrows and dots so this is the arrow and these are the dots so if you want to disable dots you can simply disable it from here content you can align to the top to the center or to the bottom so i'm going to keep it on center now let's go to the style settings now for the background you have three different options color gradient and image 
let's change the color here and you will see the change in the color so this is the color change so i'm going to make it slightly dark red we will first work with the color then we will work with this gradient so this is the color let's go to border and these are the border settings if you want to enable border you can enable the border width and from here you can have radius and this is the border color let's change it to yellow so you will see yellow color border here if i increase the width you will see the increase in the border so let's change it to one and you will see the border radius also let's go to box shadow here you can use these types of box shadows i'm going to use this one and let's increase the horizontal and vertical align if i close this one you will see the box shadow here spacing these are the spacing settings padding margin arrows and dots these are the settings for the arrows and dots change the background color for the arrows and the color so this is how it will look slide one slide two okay now this is the advanced settings these are the display conditions if you want to hide this slider on any browser you can select browser and from there select firefox and it will not show on the firefox so these are the display conditions responsive condition if you want to hide it on the tablet you can simply enable this one and it will not show on the mobile and the tablet all right let's go back to general let's select the slide child this is the first child if you want to change the background color here you can also change it if i let's, let me show you this is how it will look all right so i'm not going to change it i'm going to just change it select the first slide this is the slide child now here you will see different presets for this child like this you can change it to this so i'm going to use the first one image or icon this is the icon for the first child if you want to change it you can change it from here let's change this one and you will see it here right now we have selected this slide 3 content for the content you can change the title make it h3 h4 separator call to action this is the call to action now let's go to style settings and from here i'm going to change the color this is for the icon you can change the icon color and you can also change the width just like this let's go to title change the color to yellow and you can also change the size this is the margin you can change the size from here description let's change it to white and change the size also done now call to action if you want to change the color you can change it from here this is for the call to action button let's change the color to black and the let's have some border and change the border color to white okay so this one looks good if you want to change the size the font size you can change it from here typography let's have some spacing all right so this is for the slide 3 if you go to slide 2 you can make the same changes here so what i'm going to do i'm going to child 3 and copy copy this style let's go to style slide 2 and i'm going to paste this style so it will match with the previous one let's go to slide 1 select the child and paste the style so all the three slides will have the same style now if you want to change the content you can change it from here you can simply click on it and you can change the content from here and if you want to change this content you can add your content if you want to change the button text you can simply click on it and change it from here Let's select the button go to general call to action and here you can enter the link google.com so when someone clicks on it it will go to google.com you can open it in a new window if you want to add icon you can add the icon just like this you can change the icon from here 
So if you want to add link, you can simply select the child and go to general tab, call to action, and here you can add the link. You can do the same thing for the slide two. Select it. We are on the general call to action. Here you can enter the link. And if you want to add icon, you can add the icon. So this is how you can customize the layout of the slider. Now we will copy paste this one and we will make changes on the second slide. So I'm going to copy this block. Now just add some space here. And we are going to paste it here. Okay, so we have got the second slider here. Now select the slider, go to the style settings and we are going to change it to gradient color. So here you will see the option to change the gradient color. Here you will see gradient color 1 and color 2. So if you go with the basic, you will see these options here. If you want to change it from here, you can change it from here. So this is how it will look. I would like to go with the advanced one. And from here you can use two colors. So the gradient will be between two colors. Radial or linear. Location, you can also change the location. Angle, you can change the angle also. So there are many customizations that you can use for the gradient color. So I'm going to keep this angle. And this one looks good to me. You can change the content. Now let's close this one. And this is how it will look. Now we will create one more slider here. Let's add some space. Below that we will paste the slider again. And now let's go to the style settings. Change the background. Change the background to image. And from here we are going to select one image. Let's select this one. And you will see the image background here the position you can change the position here you will see the position this is how you can adjust the position now it is fixed if I change it to fixed you will see that the image will stay fixed there and I'm going to use it scroll no repeat and let's make it cover now we will add some overlay here classic and from here I'm going to change the color so that it will look good and we can have opacity also let's use blue color so this one looks good if you want to change to gradient you can also use the gradient color so this one also looks good so this is how to look this is the banner slide 1 slide 2 slide 3 Let's add some spacing here. Now let me show you how you can create full width slider. Go to container. Let's add one container here, full width, single column. And for container, here you can change the percentage to 100%. It will be full width then. And here I'm going to under style, go to spacing and delete the spacing to zero. So everything will be zero. Now let me copy this slider. Let's go to this container. And here I'm going to paste the slider. So here you will see it's a full width slider. Let me update it. And let's view the page. So here you will see different types of slider. This is the first slider. This is a simple slider. This is the second one with the gradient colors. This is the third one with the background image. And this is the full width. So this is how you can create different types of slider using the free Spectra Page Builder plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.